People oftentimes ask me, what is it like to live in a place where you vacation? That's lunch right there, baby. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Florida Keys at its very finest. Good morning. Woo! <laughs> Someone's feeling good this morning. Oh yeah, I got some great news. So I'm off to a great start. I'm usually not this like hyped up in the morning. I'm probably don't let her fool you. She's always hyped. Well, yeah, but not Someone's in the gotta morning. Be hyped between the both of us. Yeah, right. I'm your hype man. That's right. Woo, woo. <laughs> and I'm mellow yellow, but I'm wearing blue today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got the goodies. All right, so here we are. It is absolutely beautiful today. I was really kind of getting nervous because all the weather apps were saying something different. Some were saying not so good conditions, and then some were saying that we were gonna have good conditions. And which one was the best, like, or the most accurate? The Weather Channel. I use the Weather, weather Channel, Channel app okay. and Weatherbug. Those okay. are the two that always seem to be the most accurate when it okay. comes to cloudiness, That's storms, wind speeds. However, I really like Wind Finder for wind. That's a fantastic one. But water is clear. It's pretty decently calm. It's hot, mm -hmm. no clouds, the sun is out. And for me, this is perfect conditions. I'm pumped. Is he big? Yeah, he's a pretty decent size. Got him in the perfect spot, too. Good sacrifice any beat on him. There we go. Look at Check him out. And every single time I've ever shot a lionfish, they never really die. I don't know, they're like cockroaches. They stay alive through anything. So you stuck a spear right through them. I don't want to get my hands near him because if he pricks me, my day's over. It's probably one of the most painful stinks, but these guys taste so good. They're an invasive species down here in the Florida Keys, but a change just right now. <laughs> yeah. As the sun continues to rise, the conditions just continue to get even better. Being on the water on days like today make for an experience that will truly have you addicted to this lifestyle. Hours feel like seconds as you're immersed in the beauty that lies below each breath down to the bottom. However, our riches in the Keys pose threats from time to time. Right here, we have what's called a ghost trap. A ghost trap is an old lobster trap that was disconnected from its float, making it difficult to retrieve. Luckily, we stumbled across the remains and did our part by removing the trap and the lobsters that were left inside to starve to death. So it's kind of sad as this actually happens all the time. Luckily we were down there diving and we checked it out. It was full of just decent sized lobster. Look how many lobsters are in there. I know, there's a lot of them right here. Right now lobster are out of season, 
but what Clay's doing is he's trying to release them because this trap is a ghost trap. There's nothing attached to it like a buoy to let any of the commercial fishermen or whoever it belongs to. There we go. You're not even allowed to harvest lobster from a trap. That's a little guy. This guy right here is legal. Getting a second chance at life, baby. So unfortunately, the spear gun just went down. There's a couple little pieces that hold the reel together that fell off. We only have one spear gun, so we have to switch gears here a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run to the house, we're gonna drop off the spear gun because where we're going, we're actually not allowed to have a spear gun in the boat. Basically, we're gonna be sight fishing with hand lines for hog snapper underwater. It's something we haven't done in a little while and we're like, hey, if we don't have the spear gun, let's just continue to dive. We're gonna head into some shallower water, head a little north, and let's see if we can get a couple hog fish. So the weather laid down and it is absolutely beautiful. And it looks like this is how it's gonna be throughout the rest of the day. So I am pumped. This is called a yo-yo. And this is just gonna keep all of our line organized. And we're actually gonna be hand lining for these fish, which you guys will see. We just have a little tournament circle hook, a 30 pound leader, some split shots there. And then we have this little blue crab. And basically, we're just gonna take this hook, go right on the side of his shell and a hogfish cannot resist this. So let's get in the water and let's see if our first spot is productive. Typically when we first get in the water, it takes some time to find our first hogfish. But today, that's not the case. Typically these hogfish are hesitant to eat, but our first taker didn't hesitate one bit. After the fish devoured the crab, I set the hook and the fight was on. Believe it or not, these fish have some serious strength and it doesn't take much to break the line. The key is to swim after the fish and feed line in order to release tension to prevent breaking the line. They tend to try to wrap you up in fans or hide in a hole, so it takes some serious focus and agility to keep these fish from getting hung up. In addition, it's very difficult to get a good hook set on a hogfish, so pulling the hook is very common. Not only is Stephanie filming the fish, but she's getting ready with a net to come in for the assist and complete the fight. I hope he's legal, baby. He looks big. Yeah, he did. Got a big old snout on him, so that way you know he's a male. It typically, once they become males, they're around 16 inches. Woo! -hoo! Oh, Man, it's so. been some time since we've done this, so <laughs> it was pretty cool watching you do it. I know. Well, good job on daddy him. Yeah. Well, you know what happens if he's legal, right? Yeah. You're up next. That's right. Yeah, he's good. Woohoo! He's legal, baby. Nice. <sighs> High five. <laughs> awesome job. That's lunch right there, baby. Woo. With two fish in the box, spirits are high. It just goes to show how you can turn the tables when things don't seem to work out as planned. No matter what you may face, obstacles can always be overcome by momentum, especially since it's Stephanie's time to shine. I'm next. And I'm, you know, hoping that I can get one just a tad bit bigger because I'm always kind of competing with Clay when it comes to the size of fish we catch. But that competition is amongst her herself <laughs> and I, I being her. Mm -hmm. I don't, I really don't care. Like he for doesn't. Me, for me, as long as the boat catches fish, I'm happy. 
No, me too. I'm happy too if we catch fish. But I want to get a bigger hog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The spot we were fishing today was absolutely loaded. So once we jumped back in, it didn't take long before we found our next hogfish. Stephanie quickly made a move and dropped a crab and the sky wasn't hard to fool. The hogfish didn't hesitate and went right for the bait as he sat there feeding, looking back and forth at Stephanie and I. Luckily, his hunger was stronger than his sense, so Stephanie was able to set the hook and the fight was on. The hogfish went right for the fans, trying to get Stephanie wrapped up to break himself free. However, Stephanie did an awesome job keeping the fish clear of the fans and giving out line when it's needed. Eventually, the fish found a hole where he was able to get himself rocked up. Stephanie then took a dive and she was able to break the fish free and pull him right back out. The fight was back on, but at this point, the hogfish didn't have much left in him so I was able to come in with the assist and finish the fight. Woo! Oh, yeah. Here we go! Woo. Number two, oh. baby! Now the moment of truth is it You're a two legal? girl! <laughs> is it legal? Woo! Trip to see! See what, how big he is. Is he bigger than Clay? Oh, he's good, baby. He's laid out. Look at that. Hey, good Woo! job. We got two hogfish. That's, that's it. That's it. I'd say that's more than enough right there, baby. That's a wrap. And it looks like it's just a tad bit bigger than yours, so. Just a little bit. Winning. Not only do they have this big mouth that makes them look like a hog, but basically, if you could see all these teeth right here, and he's got some crushers, and basically, he'll root in the sand the same way that a hog does in the ground. And with that... And when he means a hog, he means like a boar. Yeah. And with that, he's picking out little crabs and shrimps and other little crustaceans that are down inside of the sand and the seagrass. And they love the fans. They love hiding behind all these little fans. And if you can see with all these markings, they'll change from this orange and yellow to like this vibrant zebra looking orange and white. They even turn brown yeah, to blend like into browns, their surroundings. But they taste just as good as they look. Look at you. Look at us. We got two hogs. It literally worked out perfect too because the spear gun went down. We are like, you know what? Let's dump it, grab some crabs, some yo-yos, go try to catch some hogfish because they're in season now. And it worked out perfect. I mean, two hours. Yeah. And we got our limit of hogfish. And it doesn't always happen like that, so no. I just want to be... Be very clear. Yeah, very clear that. about that because you may come out here, you know, actually hooking them correctly on the side of the mouth. And can not be spooking difficult. them. Yeah. I mean, it, it's very, very difficult what yeah. we're doing. We just made it look easy. Yeah. Good job. I have to say <laughs> you did absolutely <laughs> awesome. But we have something really, really cool planned for you guys. Mm -hmm. Basically, there's an island that formed off of the Florida Keys here. It's something new that popped up here, and we saved it here till the very last. It's something Stephanie and I discovered, and it's something we want to share with you guys. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Florida Keys at its very finest. Absolutely. And what's- and He's not talking about the hogfish. I am talking about the hogfish, <laughs> but it's absolutely everything combined. Yeah, And what's is. really cool is prior to Hurricane Irma, 
This island was never here. Basically, the heavy winds mm -hmm. pushed all of this sand and all these dead corals up onto this shoal. And ever since then, it stayed here. Yeah. But what's really crazy is there's two opposing currents that come together that basically holds the sand from the island right yeah. in place. And you'll see it as the tides change, so mm -hmm. will the island. Like there'll be a little more or a little less and it changes up. A every... little more or less yeah. sand, depending yeah. on the winds. Now, if we were to get another hurricane, who knows? This, this place may not even be here. Gone. Like who knows? But that's what I think is really, really unique about this spot is here we are filming this video in 2022 and later on down the road, this island may not be here. For those of you that don't know, Stephanie and I, we have a clothing company, Avail Gear. And what's so cool is places like this is where I get a lot of my inspiration from when it comes to designing my shirts. So I think it's really, really cool how you guys get to see the video form behind my inspiration. I have a pub sub on the boat, but I knew that this was coming. That's how much how much faith we have in each other catching fish. We brought subs just in case it didn't happen. Well, <laughs> let, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, Stephanie already ate half of hers, so uh, she didn't have much faith in me. But I had a lot of faith in myself, so listen. I waited for this very moment to eat. Mm. Tastes like palm fish. Absolutely delicious. Wow, this is really good. So, people oftentimes ask me, what is it like to live in a place where you vacation? And it's exactly what you think it is. Well, it's I, not vacation every day. That's one thing I can't no, say. No, I mean, you're working, but the thing is, is once you get off of work, it's like you get to enjoy the boat aspect of it. We can hop on the boat. And you we can just, go fishing. Mm -hmm. You can bait, that, that's when it turns into a vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, even preparing the boat, I get excited about. Yeah. You know, th this is like my inspiration. This is why I make videos. This is why you sell real estate mm -hmm. down here. I mean, for the people that aren't able to experience mm -hmm. this every day, it's just cool that we get to do this for them. Yeah. With that being said. I'm going to keep eating hogfish. Yeah. I'm going to keep on sitting on this beach. Yeah. But see you guys next week.